dear students assalamu alaikum today's lecture is about grammar and in grammar the first part that i have touched is the sentence the basic unit of language on which the entire language depends is the formation of a sentence now there are a few different definitions of a sentence i will give you a few so that you can completely understand what a basic sentence is a sentence is a group of words which give or convey a complete meaning a sentence is a group of word a sentence is a group of words that convey a complete meaning anything that we want to say when we want to convey it it must have a sense it must it must be in the form of a sentence now a sentence is a group of words that express a complete thought complete meaning these are all basic definitions of a sentences sentences are made to convey our feelings to convey our thoughts to express ourselves now there are some important things inside a sentence the first thing is there must be an article articles are optional the meaning must be conveyed and there must be a subject and a verb now here is a small hint about sentences cops are coming now what is the word cops cops with did you capitalize that means a sentence must begin with a capital letter a sentence must always begin with a capital letter o stands for did you organize the words correctly did you put the words in the correct order p did you punctuate now punctuation is a very important part of sentence making s did you check the spelling of each word and i would add that you must put a full stop at the end or a question mark or an exclamation mark or whatever is required to end that sentence now for instance when you are making sentences two basic parts are a subject and a predicate but there are other parts in a, in a sentence also which comprise of the subject the verb and the object three parts are subject plus verb plus object now in order to understand verb we must go back to our parts of speech now how many parts of speech are there there are eight parts of speech the first part of speech is noun noun is a naming word the second part of speech is verb verb is an action word number 3 adverb whenever you want to describe a verb that description is in the form of an adverb then it's adjective adjectives are the words that describe nouns then there are pronouns the words used instead of noun that is he she it they these are all pronouns after that we have conjunctions two smaller sentences are joined together by a single word to convey a complete meaning and these are known as conjunctions then there are interjections interjections are words that explain extreme happiness extreme sadness extreme fear or anything that is an extremity then the last part of the parts of speech is preposition a preposition is a word which describes the relation between either two nouns or a noun and a verb it is always joining the explanation the action that is being done and it helps out in explaining to us where the noun is and how the action is being done now to move on further towards sentences there are kinds of sentences there are four kinds of basic sentences these are those which make a statement or are assertive that means assertions such as humpty dumpty sat on a wall it is a news that is being sent to you that humpty dumpty sat on a wall it is a simple assertive sentence the second is those which ask questions such as where do you live these sentences are always in the question form number 3 those which express commands requests or entreaties as be quiet have mercy upon us and the fourth part is those which express strong feelings such as how cold the night is it is ending with an exclamation mark what a shame something to be shameful of sentences that make a statement or assertion are called declarative or assertive sentences something that you are making you are giving a statement which is 
either in uh, in a in a true sense or you want to make sure that that thing has happened and you are relating it number 2 is a sentence that asks a question is called the interrogative sentence any say statement that is in the question form any sentence which is in the question form is always known as an interrogative sentence third is a sentence that expresses a command or an entity is called an imperative sentence number 4 a sentence that expresses strong feeling is called an exclamatory sentence now here we have studied definition of a sentence a sentence is a group of words that express a complete thought a complete meaning a complete sense is transferred from one person the speaker to the listener ex sentences are always expressed from the speaker the person who is speaking them to the listener who is listening to them or the reader the writer and the reader the writer of the sentence conveys a certain thing and the reader of the sentence takes that sense into his mind our language is is only for conveyance of a feeling from one person to another so to convey that feeling we have our english grammar any subject has grammar so that sensible sentences can be formed with the help of all the things that are available in our vocabulary now in our vocabulary we have articles we have nouns we have verbs we have pronouns we have adverbs we have adjectives we have interrogative uh, interjections we have conjunctions then we have prepositions so all these are parts of the sentence that make a complete sense it is always done to convey a certain feeling now two basic parts basic parts of a sentence are subject and predicate when we make a sentence we name some person or thing and say something about that person or thing whenever we are trying to convey a feeling or any information from one person to the other we need a subject the person we are talking about in other words we must have a subject to speak about and we must say or predicate something about that subject the information about that subject is the predicate part of the sentence and the first part is the subject the person spoken about and the information conveyed in the sentence hence every sentence has two parts the part which names the person or thing we are speaking about this is called the subject of the sentence which is most important about whom we are talking about and the information that we are transferring who is the person about the information that is being transferred the part which tells something about the subject this is called the predicate of the sentence the subject of a sentence usually comes first usually but occasionally sometimes usually subject is in the beginning but occasionally sometimes it is put after the predicate as here comes the bus now the bus is the subject but it's at the end of the sentence sweet are the uses of adversity now we can even change the form like here comes the bus the bus is coming the bus is here sweet are the uses of adversity 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 has sweet uses but that in the longer explanation of grammar active and passive voice the subject is active the subject is not active is he is passive that is a very long story and we'll have we'll have a complete lecture on active and passive now here fifth part is the imperative sentence the subject is left out sit down sit down now you sit down but we do not use you all the time here in the imperative sentence the subject is left out thank him here to the subject you is understood we have understood that it is thank him i want to thank him or thank him sit down exercises in grammar without exercises in grammar we are never able to understand the correct usage of grammar in the following sentences separate the subject and the predicate i'll do a few with you the cackling of geese saved rome now what saved rome the cackling of the geese but the subject over here is rome the boy stood on the burning deck here the subject is the boy and the predicate is stood on the burning deck 
टोबल केन वॉज अ मैन ऑफ माइथ द अर्ली बर्ड कैच इज द वर्म नाउ हेयर द सब्जेक्ट इज द अर्ली बर्ड एंड द प्रेडिकेट इज कैच इज द वर्म ऑल मैटर इज इन डिस्ट्रक्टेबल ऑल मैटर इज द सब्जेक्ट एंड वॉट इंफॉर्मेशन आर यू कन्वे इज इन डिस्ट्रक्टेबल नेक्स्ट इज स्टोन वॉल्स डू नॉट मेक अ प्रिजन नाउ सब्जेक्ट इज स्टोन वॉल्स एंड वॉट डू दे डू दे डू नॉट मेक अ प्रिजन बी शुड प्रॉफिट बाय एक्सपीरियंस सब्जेक्ट इज बी प्रेडिकेट इज शुड प्रॉफिट बाय एक्सपीरियंस नेक्स्ट लेसन नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज फ्रेज एंड क्लॉज एंड इट्स कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट वील अगेन शिफ्ट टू द एक्सरसाइजेज ऑफ सेंटेंसेज नाउ देर आर हेयर वी हैव अ फ्यू जम्बल सेंटेंसेज वी विल पुट दैम इन द करेक्ट ऑर्डर विच इज अ बेसिक एक्सरसाइज बुक्स द शेल्स ऑन देर आर देर आर बुक्स ऑन द शेल्स देर आर बुक्स ऑन द शेल्स द पार्क इन द बॉयज आर प्लेइंग द बॉयज आर प्लेइंग इन द पार्क द बॉयज विल बिकम द सब्जेक्ट द बॉयज आर प्लेइंग इन द पार्क इज द डॉग एनिमल अ फेथफुल इज द डॉग अ फेथफुल एनिमल दिस इज नाउ इन इंटरोगेटिव फॉर्म इज द डॉग a faithful animal children good the truth always tell good children always tell the truth good children always tell the truth my birthday 16 july is on my birthday is on 16th july often goes my uncle by plane to multan my uncle often goes to multan by plane now here our session is complete the basic understanding of a sentence this is our initial lecture we will move on to the other parts of grammar gradually i hope you like the lecture please like and subscribe our channel and share this video hopefully it will be helpful to you in understanding basic subject which is subject and predicate which is which which are the initial requirements the basic requirements of a simple sentence